The narrative that Ohio State is a broken program, which, by the way, is being pushed by Michigan fans, is getting old. There is nothing that points to Ohio State being a broken program. When I think of a broken program, I think of Clemson football. Look at where they were and look at where they are now. They won two national championships, made the playoffs pretty much every year, and then all of a sudden they, they're having trouble winning eight games. What What's happened with Ohio State? What has pointed to them falling off like that? They have done no such thing. All right? So, Ryan Day is doing a good job. He is 58-6. and six. He's bringing in top five recruiting classes. He has them nationally relevant each year in the Big Ten title picture and the playoff picture and talked about possibly winning the national championship. To me, that does not sound like a program who has fallen off. The problem he's running into right now is that he's got a Michigan problem. He's lost to Michigan three straight years in a row, and it's cost them a shot at a national title. But other than that, he's doing a good job. He's beating the teams that he needs to beat. He's just having trouble getting over the hump against the top teams. But again, he's a young coach who's trying to figure it out. Yes, he has, he gets more talent, but when he first came, after a couple years, he didn't have the right staff, but he's making the right moves. Tim Walden, good developer, he fired Perry Aliano. We'll see how this new safeties coach does. Jim Knowles has completely revamped and turned around that defense, doing a good job. Let's see how Chip Kelly does. Brian Hartline on fire as usual. Great developer of wide receiver talent, bringing in top talent as well. You guys, Ohio State is not that far off from being where they need to be, which is in contention of the national championship each year.